This video was supposed to be something very different than what it ended up being. About a month ago, I bought an iPhone XR with a broken screen at a garage sale. With my past encounters with iCloud in mind, I made sure to go through all the normal steps to remove iCloud from the phone with the original owner. After restoring the device and replacing the screen, I tried to set up the device with the joy of getting a new iPhone building up inside of me, only to be encountered by a familiar foe. Innocent viewers, meet Activation Lock, a poorly implemented solution to a problem that will land millions of devices and landfills. And if you aren't careful, you could be harmed by it as well. Okay, what is Activation Lock? Well, at first, it seems like a fairly neat system. It's a theft deterrent. Basically, it prevents people from using an iDevice device after a restore without entering the Apple ID email and password of a person who had previously set their device up with iCloud. Seems fairly simple, right? Wrong. As a theft deterrent, it seems like a good idea, but think about it this way. The average person does not know what activation lock is. So when the average person goes to sell their device or give it to a goodwill, they don't know that this lock exists and they don't do anything to make sure to remove the lock. And thus has just sent their device on a long, hard road to eventually end up in the landfill. Surely Apple has a way to remove activation lock without entering the Apple ID and password of the previous owner, right? In fact, they do. But in most cases, you aren't going to be able to get them to remove the lock without the original receipt for the device that you're trying to unlock, which is something that probably isn't obtained when you buy a device from Goodwill or a garage sale. Apple refuses to contact the original owner in the case of a legitimate unlock request. From a privacy perspective, I do understand not wanting to give a level one support rep the full email address of someone with an Apple ID, but all you have to do, Apple, is to set up a bot that can email these people. That way, nobody has to know the full email, and the robots can make the email, just like robots do for everything else. That wouldn't cause any problems. You know what also doesn't cause any problems? Subscribing to our channel. It's free. Do it. Yay. So, all of these devices are just reduced to landfills and e-waste, never to be used again because of a poorly implemented system that Apple has refused to fix. Granted, they have gotten a little better about it in recent years. Apple has implemented ways to request an unlock if the person who owned the device died, or just a general unlock request as stated earlier, but all of these are just putting band-aids on a pretty big wound. It would not be hard to fix this problem, and Apple has absolutely refused. Okay, this next part gets into ways that you can hack activation lock using not completely over-the-board ways. So I just want to tell you that this is for educational and informational purposes only. Since this feature's launch, there has been a group of enthusiasts dedicated to creating ways to bypass or get past this activation lock so that legitimate users can access the devices that they bought. And this isn't a small group either. However, in the last couple years, this group has taken some major hits, namely with Apple Tech 752's, a big creator in the space's YouTube channel deletion. And while there are widespread bypasses for the devices that are primarily predating the iPhone 10, that still leaves seven years of iDevices that are sold and reduced to e-waste. These affected devices are often just abandoned or used for parts. And for a company that promotes being carbon neutral and helping the environment, this seems like a ton of negligence on Apple's part. The conclusion? Make sure you turn off Find My iPhone and just go ahead and erase your device before you sell or donate to a thrift store. And I'm going to link some Apple support articles down below that will help you do this. And please, please take action. Down below, I'm going to link a petition that will hopefully catch Apple's attention and force them to fix this horrible issue. If we, as a community, pull together, we can avoid this awful issue. 
you know what isn't awful though? This outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, then make sure you smash that like button. And if you really liked it, then you should consider subscribing. If you want to help support us financially, you can use the link in the description below to tip us. Tipping is really easy and you can tip almost any amount that you want. And you also get your name featured in videos for a month after you donate. Oh, and here are all the people that have donated in the last month. If you want to see new content from us in the future, then make sure you hit that notification bell. But while you're waiting, why don't you go check out our review on the iPhone 13, a good phone to buy used right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.